Nowadays, social media has become an important factor in our daily lives. From staying in touch with our friends and family, to networking and keeping up with the latest news and trends. It is challenging to visualize life without social media. However, there are several drawbacks to the consistent use of social media. These drawbacks might even outweigh the benefits of social media overall. So stay till the end to know why you should delete your social media now. First and foremost, social media is said to increase feelings of anxiety, depression, and loneliness in most people. According to some psychologists, spending more time on social media will increase your chances of feeling isolated and disconnected from the world. Social media easily creates a false sense of connection. A lot of people tend to show off on social media rather than expose their realities. This can easily lead you to develop low self-esteem, which can harm your relationships with friends and family members. When you try to present a perfect image of yourself online, the first problem you face is that you will have fewer face-to-face -face conversations, and the absence of intimacy in your relationships will destroy your connections. The second problem is that you'll spend a lot of energy thinking about how other people see you online and what they say about you. Often, this is a significant contributor to mental stress and fatigue. The devastating effect of social media on our mental health is one of its most significant drawbacks. Let's hear what renowned neuroscientist Andrew Huberman has to say about the impact of social media trolls on our brains. It's all about dopamine. Mm. It's a value system. The brain is doing math with dopamine. And then when the reward arrives, it compares the expectation to the reward. Oh. And if the reward isn't that great, it's a letdown. But that letdown is actually a drop in dopamine below baseline. Damn. Okay? Mm. Yeah. When someone says something aggravating or is trying to trigger you, it sets in motion this dopamine circuit. And when you respond, no matter what you do, it actually gives them a reward. It right. rewards them. Right. When you refrain from that, it actually sends them below baseline. Perfect. So exactly. <laughs> Just exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Just stoic, you know, mm -hmm. and it's hard to do, right? Because yeah. we get wrapped in. Sure. But so never respond. Right. Or delete it. Delete it. Yeah. Or delete it, right? Yeah. It's, it's your account. You can delete it. Well, he is advising us to not respond to internet trolls or even delete whatever hate people are spreading on our socials. According to him, the best response is to not respond at all. Social media is full of toxicity and negativity. Social vices, including bullying, harassment, and hate speech, are very common on social platforms these days, which creates severe consequences for the victims. It is essential to remember that behind every profile is an actual individual, and they are not immune to actions and words from online abusers. Social media is a significant cause of distraction. It is easy to get caught up in scrolling through your feed, watching videos, and responding to instant messages, and without realizing it, spend valuable hours on nothing. Most people find it difficult to focus on crucial tasks and become unproductive because of long hours spent on social media. Another drawback of social media is its impact on our privacy and security. Many people share their personal information online, especially our younger generation. Sharing personal information can make you vulnerable to identity theft, cyberbullying, and other types of online harassment. Social media can also be a tool for scams and frauds, and it can be difficult to separate factual information from fake ones. So, most people become victims of scams, losing money and sometimes even their lives. Besides, it is easy to spread false information on social media. Due to the absence of fact-checking, false information quickly becomes viral which creates confusion and can lead to dangerous consequences for the victims involved. However, the biggest problem with social media is that it can be very addictive and intimidating. Social media sites use various techniques, including notifications and like counts, to hold our attention and keep us coming back for more. This is the reason why most people constantly check their phones to try and get more validity from others and guess what? They are unaware of their addiction to social media platforms. Some people are so focused on their online life that they neglect close friends and family. Dr. Anna Lemke has a very strong perspective on addiction to social media. On the Huberman podcast, she said, 
message I would want to get across about social media is that it really is a drug and it's engineered to be a drug. Um, and it's based on, you know, potency, quantity, variety, um, the bottomless bowls, the likes, the way that it's enumerated, all of that, which doesn't mean that we can't use it. Um, but we need to be very thoughtful about the way you, we, we use it, just like we need to be thoughtful about the way we use any drug. To avoid addiction to social media, one of the most crucial things we can do is to set boundaries for ourselves. Be mindful of how much time we should spend on social media and be intentional about the content we read. Also, be aware of the information we share online about ourselves and start using tools to protect our privacy. Dr. Anna Lemke further stated, um, And so that means with intention and in advance, planning our use right and trying to use it in as a as a as a really awesome tool to potentially connect with other people and not to be used by it um, or get lost in it later in the same podcast huberman mentioned that he isn't a phone addict either but he still tries to avoid using it too much i, I don't think i'm a phone addict um but i do put work into regulating my phone. Regulating your phone behavior refers to constantly trying and limiting your screen time without forcing yourself into doing so. You may even put some mental and physical barriers between yourself and your phone that would help you achieve it. We need to ensure that we are using something other than social media as a replacement for real-life connections and conversations. Try to disconnect from social media regularly and ensure that you spend time on things that truly matter to you such as your friends and family members. Social media can be an excellent tool for connecting with others. Still, it is essential to use social media moderately and to be aware of its potential dangers. Moreover, we must make a collective effort to show more compassion toward others on social platforms. Treating people with respect and kindness will reduce the cases of cyberbullying drastically. On the other hand, Showing empathy towards others will make them feel better about themselves and the world. In what way do you think social media is harmful? And what should we do to avoid addiction to social media? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you may not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.